it's just about that time. It's Holly and thanks for joining me back here at my channel. Today I'm celebrating the birthday or the anniversary, whichever way you would think about that most, of my channel, The Morning Pour. That's right, you're here on the celebration day of my one year anniversary, the one year birthday of my channel. I posted my very first video last year on February 14th. Valentine's Day. So it's kind of an all-in-one festivity and I'm so excited that you're here sharing it with me here. Whether it's on the actual day itself or even if you're watching this on the replay. Thanks for being here. I have some amazing fun things in store for you and that's all just ahead in the video. In this presentation I'm once again going to be using the amazingly fabulous waterfall cup by Brian of Spontaneous Creations by Brian and I will be linking the the store link as well as Brian's channel link below so that you can find your way to find these wonderful toys as well should you like what you see here and otherwise find yourself inspired to perhaps pick one up. Now let's have a brief discussion about the paint we're going to be using in this painting today. Our white is Flow Acrylic. Yes, Flow Acrylic by Artist Loft. Now I found out recently, as you may have as well, that Michaels doesn't make this formulation anymore and they don't call it Flow Acrylic anymore. Because of that, they've called it something else now. I actually bought this, oh gosh, I guess it was either in 2020 or 2021. I bought a six pack and I still have a few bottles left. And apparently that has been what has happened with a lot of artists. Uh, I hope that they will bring this formulation back. I would think that people in the pouring art community use a lot of this paint and considering it's one of our go-to paints for a lot of the effects that we love and that we always want to recreate and have take place within our paintings, I think it was a poor choice on Michael's part to change the formulation of this, but hey, what do I know? And maybe they'll at least have enough brains to bring it back. Additionally, I am using this, what color is this? Dioxanine Purple. I always forget the name of my paints, but I'm using Dioxanine Purple today. Aside from these two colors, everything else is from this fabulous kit of paints that Kelly was kind enough to send me one day over the summer. It takes me a while to sometimes get around to things. You can ask Donna of It's Art by Donna and about that. It took me a while to start using some of the fabulous things that she sent me back in the summer. It was late June, actually. She sent me some things to help me in that July 4th collaboration we were in my initial efforts. The reason she sent me that package in the first place didn't end up working out for the usage in that collaboration, but I have had fun since then utilizing many of the things that she has presented in that box, including the Aussie Flow Troll that I talk about very often. I'm not using that in this presentation though. So what am I using out of this box? I am using quite a few colors actually, and I can't thank Kelly enough for this. Okay. She had a very specific reason for sending me this. I'll tell about it in a different video. Okay. 
So the first color is pearl magenta. We're going to be using this pearl magenta color. And we are also going to be using pearl royal purple, pearl pink, pearl raspberry. And I think that these are the four colors from this that I have chosen for this particular painting. In my maiden voyage painting, I, I used this. I used pearl copper and I think I used something else maybe from this pack. Oh, it was the blue. It's not in here though. It was the, the pearl arctic blue. Yes, I had also used the pearl arctic blue in my maiden voyage painting. And I don't think I used the copper in this painting though, but I did use 24K Extreme Sheen and I didn't bring a bottle of that to show you, but if you've been around the acrylic pouring world, I'm pretty sure you know about Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24K by now. If you haven't found out about it yet, consider yourself having discovered it now and it will become one of your best friends. Now before we continue, would you be a dear and give this a thumbs up? Consider commenting below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel as of yet, consider doing that now and clicking the bell if you think I'm at all entertaining or if you have known by now that you like my artwork, consider clicking the subscribe button, clicking the bell so that you get the notifications of my uploads. Well, theoretically, I've heard that sometimes that's kind of sketchy based on YouTube factors, but hey, it's an ideal concept at the very least and uh, you might want to do it in case it happens to work or at the times it does. And that way, hopefully, you'll be notified when I upload new painting videos. Look at the way that this is flowing out of the cup. Look at how beautiful this looks. I love, love, love watching the paint flow out of a cup. It is seriously one of my favorite things to see. I know that it is some of yours as well because I've asked you that before. I've seen your comments. I've heard other people commenting even on other artist channels. Uh, well, seen it, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes I'm there in the lives and I see the chat and imagine that I'm hearing it, but I'm, I guess I'm actually seeing the text coming through, aren't I? So I've seen it. We all kind of like to watch the paint flowing out of the cup. Isn't this beautiful? I absolutely love what I'm seeing here. Yes, so this has been an incredible, incredible year. I've made so many wonderful friends, fellow artists that I've had so much fun in collaborations with and that I've just enjoyed getting to know and sharing a camaraderie with. I really, really have grown to be very caring and loving toward many of these people and very fond and happy to know many others, some of which I'm just starting to get to know and haven't known that long yet. But it's been such a beautiful adventure and such a beautiful growing group of friends and fellow painters. It's one of the things I never saw coming in starting my YouTube channel. They're the, the people that I never imagined I would have met, the friends that I've been making or the friends that I've already been developing friendships with along the way that I never could have foreseen coming into my life. I never had any idea that this would be the type of experience that I would have in creating this YouTube channel. But what I can tell you is it's absolutely my most favorite, most appreciated part of having created my YouTube channel. I also enjoy the, inter the interactions with you guys, the people who watch and the people who comment. Sometimes it's maybe been you, or sometimes it's been other people who have been watching. But I love those comments. They mean a lot to me, and I enjoy interacting with you. I may not always find them right away, but I do usually make my rounds and I'll find them at some point. And when I do, I do typically write back to them. When this paint first came out in the center portion and made all these little loop-de-loos, I wasn't so sure immediately what I thought of that. It certainly wasn't what I was aiming for, but when I stepped back and took a, a little look at it just for a moment, took a breath, tried to look at it from fresh eyes, with fresh eyes, I thought, 
depending on how this opens up, this could be one of the coolest paintings. It could be one of the worst or it could be one of the best. It's probably going to be one of the two and we're going to find out. Now look at how this is unfolding. This is incredible. Look at what is going on here with these formations. I have never gotten any results like this at all in any of my ring pours when I have used a standard plastic cup for my ring pours. And look, as you start to see this opening up, look at the majesticness that this actually created. This would not have happened if it wasn't for how it came out of the waterfall cup. over layering that I am getting within the colors because of using this cup. The only other time I have gotten over layering that resembles this at all is when I have mixed my paints with mix. I have not mixed any of these paints with mix. I have only mixed my paints with Floetrol. Okay, my friends, thank you 
for joining me here in celebration of my one year anniversary to the day. Hopefully if I get this edited in time, otherwise it's going to be late. I'm aiming for on time before midnight today on the 14th. We'll see if I make it. But thank you for being here with me today. Woohoo! Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. <laughs> And remember to come back again soon because I want to share with you some of my favorite highlights in the times ahead of my first year here on YouTube. And I have a lineup of amazing paintings that have already been created, the video footage of which I have yet to edit but will be soon and presenting that to you, as well as upcoming paintings with more of Brian's toys and some other collaborations that I'm already in and are considering going into in the times ahead. So lots of fun things coming our way here on this channel as well as the channels of some of my friends. So make sure you stick around and once again if you've not subscribed, consider doing that especially now if you're still here then I'm guessing I've engaged you well enough into my content that you're still watching so maybe this would be a good time to consider subscribing if you believe you might enjoy seeing some of my upcoming videos meanwhile my friends thank you so much for being part of my first year thank you for being here for this video and I will see you in the times ahead I'm looking forward to year two of this YouTube channel and I look forward to you being here for that again as well.